one time my friend always asked me for a smoke weed so basically my friend was a weed seller i don't know how he got them how he sell them you know all kind of this shit he always used to smoke weed he always smelled weed like for, for the time that his parents caught him smoking weed they didn't give a shit anymore they were like just fuck it let let him do whatever he wants so basically one time I went to this friend's house and all of the shit part of this story starts over here. Uh, he basically opened his internet browser and got into a browser which is called Onion or what most of you know as the deep web or the dark web and he made a weed order I think it costed him around a hundred dollars or worth of weed for I don't know how much like what quantity did he bought did he buy or he used but uh, after he ordered this I remember he did a mistake I don't know what was it he said oh shit I didn't hide my ID or something like that so he was pretty much so fucked scared up and he was just not comfortable so one hour later uh, we heard a bell rang on his house door we went and we opened the door and two cops were on the fucking house they were like hey okay so before we start the whole story let's just give my friend uh, a fake name so let's call him Sammy so the cops come and he and they're like Who, hey who's Sammy over here and he rolls up his hand and they're like uh, we want you in the police departure right now for something that you made illegal under the name of hacking and threads so he was like whoa shit we are fucked up so they basically put handcuffs on his hands and they took and they took him with them and they went to the police departure uh, basically his parents at that specific night weren't at home so they had to call his parents and tell her that and tell them that your son was smoking weed and the officer was like so pissed off and they let his parents like get a sign that he'll never do it again never ever again so so basically his parents came over to the police departure and they had to pay like a uh, base amount of money so they can get him out of his cell so he's free and not in jail anymore and his parents took him, I remember, I remember that his parents told me like, why you let him do that? Not my parents, his parents told me like, why did you let him do that? And why you're putting yourself in so much trouble? And like, why the fuck did you overall do that? Like, why the fuck did you do it? And I was like, I don't know, he made everything, I knew about nothing. Oh, you know, I started lying on the ground. Uh, immediately like life is so shitty for me so I need to lie so I remember since then I had never heard of him since since that time and yeah that that was basically the last time uh, me hearing anything from him or talking to him or or not or you know just like get into any contact with him so yeah that basically was the time that my friend bought weed and got caught with it so yeah this was it thank you guys for watching this and see you in the next time and peace out